What's up everyone? Hey, check it out. When you're at home, you don't want to go to the gym, you still want to get a workout and you don't have a home gym, you want a perfect level of resistance, matching your body strength curve, meaning that it's stronger at the full contraction of the motion than it is at the beginning. And that's where resistance bands or training bands come in. Now, resistance bands are out there, but they're very expensive and the quality is really low. <laughs> out and I'm like, hey, I need to do this better and make it affordable. I want these bands to be under $50 and want to have five varying levels of resistance from anywhere from children training to advanced bodybuilders like myself. That's where I came out with this Tiger Fitness set of bands. Comes in this awesome case. So we have five varying levels of resistance for the, you know, smaller people or different movements. You have the extra light. Then you have the red one here which is light, you got the medium, heavy, and of course, extra heavy. This is a very strong band. These are awesome, they're available at Tiger Fitness, $50 for the entire set. So check it out. Today, I'm gonna show you the top five resistance band movements for training chest. Hope you enjoy this. One of the best movements for chest with weights, with bands, is gonna be a single arm press you're able to put all your attention and focus onto one pectoral muscle. And for bands, you're gonna notice at the top, you get this amazing peak contraction, and you're gonna absolutely love it. So think of it this way. If you're doing a hammer strength machine and you're pushing with one arm, the good thing about this, not only does it work your chest, but you also have to engage your core to get it done. So what you do is you take the band, wrap it around anything. You can wrap it around a mailbox, something that's not gonna move. Do not do a table leg, I have seen that backfire. Step forward, you're doing the right arm, your left foot's in front, right foot's in back, you brace yourself with your core. This arm, just keep it stable. Don't have it wobbling around, you don't have to put it in your pocket, don't put it here, wherever you wanna go. Me, I just kinda have it here, balancing myself. Come out, elbow, arm, between the bands, push. Squeeze, push. You can even sit here with this other arm, squeeze. And you're gonna notice, look at this. I'm really working my abs. My core is on fire. Come up at the top, squeeze, down slow. You notice at the top it gets harder as the band stretches. This is a power movement, right? You're really pushing it in here. You do this at the beginning when you're fresh, or you do this to end the burnout. Thing is you go lighter for higher reps, but if you go really heavy, let's say you're gonna use this extra heavy band, this is a power movement. Even for me doing eight of these, and if it gets easy, let's say you start out, it's too easy. Step forward a little bit. The farther you go away from the object it's attached to, the harder it is. So that is exercise one. That is the unilateral chest press. Exercise number two, pretty simple. Chest press, you then go to flies. So for flies, rather than doing a press, you're gonna get the motion, Come in here and instead of pressing it, you're gonna bring it across your body in a fly motion, boom. So you have a slight bend in the elbow, all right? And you're pulling. So rather than pressing, you're pulling, like that. Pulling. Other arm, pull through, squeeze. Pull through, squeeze, boom. Now that, that is a great motion. It really isolates the pecs, takes your triceps, your arms, and your shoulders out of it. So for these, again, some people don't like to go heavy on flies. You can rep these out, or you can do a little heavier. So whether you wanna go for three sets of 10 to 12, or four sets of three to five, the varying levels of resistance in these bands will help you achieve that. Push-ups will always be a great movement for chest. It's a great body weight movement. But here's the thing, you're not at the gym, don't that hammer strength press, you don't have the bench press, or if you're at the gym, you want a good burnout exercise, but push-ups are just too easy for you, the bands do that for you. Take the bands, grab it, put it around your back, through your arms, across your back like so. Make sure it's not too high, or it can roll up and smack you in the back of the head, which as someone that's happened to, it's kind of embarrassing. So you get down, push-up position, all right, come down, boom. Nice squeeze at the top. All right, so these, what you can do, one good option for burning out at the end of your workout is you go, do as many as you can with the band. 
Then when you're fatigued, simply get the band off, boom, drop set. So that is a resistance band push-up. I love unilateral stuff because it really focuses on your core as well as the working muscles. So I really love unilateral stuff. However, sometimes you just want to do flies and get that nice boom contraction at the top. For that, simply wrap around your object. Again, you can use anything. I happen to be in the Tiger Fitness gym in Ohio. So I got the, again, it's my gym, nobody's here. Stand against the object or come far away from it. Boom, flies. Step away for more resistance. Boom, squeeze. Boom, squeeze. There you go. Nice squeeze at the top. I like this because you're squeezing both pecs, getting a nice, awesome contraction at the top. So for these, you can either burn out with them, you can do them anytime. But this really does a great job of mimicking, or even in some cases doing it better than a pec deck. We've done two variations of a press, two variations of a fly. Now, when you come and do a fly from here, it's working your entire pec, right? Now, there's no upper pec, lower pec, middle pec, none of that. There's minor and major, pectoralis minor, pectoralis major. However, you wanna hit your upper pecs, right? Can't really do an incline press on these, right? But you can do a fly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this band low, right? So if you're at a pole, attach it lower on the pole attachment, and you're gonna come across your body, you're gonna bring it up, boom. Bring it up. So you're coming up here across your body, and like a fly, slight bend in the arm. So you're not doing a press, the other side, get this angle, cross your body, squeeze. Again, your hand can go free or your hand can feel the muscle working, which for me is mentally awesome. So right there is an awesome upper chest fly. There you have it guys, the top five exercises for chest utilizing resistance bands. Again, these awesome bands are available at tigerfitness.com, the best quality for the price. You will not find anywhere this kind of quality with this kind of price and of course remember at tigerfitness.com you spend over 99 dollars in the entire u.s including hawaii and alaska you get free shipping plus you're dealing with a company of real people who care about you care about your results remember nothing works unless you do you're not just a number here we appreciate everything and of course that's not a game